All right, here we go. We have the most mysterious member of the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> Master killer in the building. No question. Someone who doesn't speak much off record. Correct. Doesn't do a lot of interviews. Correct. The ninja of the group. That's correct. <laughs> but we have him here. No doubt. Thank you so much for coming. Pleasure to be here, Vlad. Huge fan. Thank you, brother. You know, I mean, everyone's a Wu-Tang fan, pretty much. Uh, the most important logo in hip-hop. <laughs> the most important symbol. Okay. All right. Would you disagree? I want to stay humble to that. You know, you have you have symbols out there. Like, you right. know, you have, you know, the, the Rockefeller symbol, of course. Right. You have right. the Dipset symbol. Right. The hieroglyphics had a really cool symbol. Right. But I think the Wu-Tang eagle... <laughs> If you count the number of tattoos out there of non Wu Tang people, <laughs> right. and you know the, the the visibility of it, I think right. it's on a on a whole of space, man. Right, right, right. So, so let's talk about the history. You actually grew up in Brooklyn. Indeed. Okay. Did you know Old Dirty Bastard at all? No, I didn't. Okay. Not through my upcoming. No. Okay, but you knew Jizza. At a point, I met Jizza around ninety, maybe ninety, ninety one, something like that. Okay, like so. So, which Wu Tang member did you first meet? It was Jizza. It was Jizza. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, and before then, you weren't a rapper at all. Nah. I just was always a fan of hip hop. You know, from the first day I heard it coming from the parks, you know, in Bed Stuy, man, you know, the block parties and stuff like that. You know, I've been a fan of hip hop. You know, so. Okay, but you never try to actually rap or nothing else like that. Well, you know, not seriously, you know, with your friends. Just fucking around. Yeah. But you, you never wrote I mean? stuff knew, down, went knew, to a studio. I knew every word of the Sugar Hill Gang. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But but you never really had aspirations of being a rapper yourself. I never thought about it like that. Never thought about it. Okay. Um, I guess at one point you and J. Rue the Damager knew each other? J. Rue's from my neighborhood. Okay. He's from East New York. Yeah. You know, so we, you know, when you're from the same neighborhood, you cross paths, you know, with, you know, other people from your neighborhood. So, yeah, we, I know, good brother from my neighborhood. And you guys worked at McDonald's together? Yes, we did. Okay. Yes, we did. And was he like an aspiring rapper at that time or was he just? He could have been, you know, because, you know, some of my, you know, people that I know, they were more in the pursuit of it as far as being artists of the culture. I was just a fan of it. You okay. Know? Even, you know, meeting Jizza, I didn't even really know who he was to the the hip hop industry. You know, I met him as, you know, we was just good brothers, just building, you know. Okay. So you guys met when you were like twenty? Somewhere around there, yeah. Okay. And when you guys met, what started to happen? We started building, you know, playing chess, building mathematically and you know, music was, you know, Music was always there because we both fans of music. But I didn't know his history of what he had done in the industry. I didn't know he was already a cold chilling artist. I didn't know he already had an album out. You know, these things, you know right. what I mean? So those things, you know, kind of came in as we continued to build. You know, he started telling me about, you know, what was brewing. Right, because he had that project, uh, was it Words from the Genius? Correct. It came out and it didn't really make a lot of big waves. I remember at the time, okay. kind of seeing, I remember the album he's got on the cover, kind of sort of leaning up. Okay. Uh, and uh, I remember it kind of came and went, but there wasn't a lot of promotion behind it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't really know who he was at the time. All right. So so you guys hook up. Mm -hmm. and, and when you say mathematics, are you guys 5%? Um, you know, Nation of the Gods and Nerfs. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. In that whole proximity Culture. of it all. You know, yes. we have Lord Jamar here all the time. Indeed. So. That's my brother. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys start building, and he started telling you about the music shit. Indeed. And was he putting together Wu-Tang at the time, along with RZA and everybody else? Well, he, you know, he, he spoke about it, you know, briefly, you know, like, you know, to say, you know, you know, we, you know I got some brothers from Staten Island, we putting together this movement, and you know, we get ready to do this Wu Tang thing, but you know, just casually, you know, conversation wise, nothing like he wasn't kicking no rhymes for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing like that. So I hadn't heard any any music or anything like that. 
and you know, when I did hear something, you know, it was like, so this is what you've been talking about all this time. Like, wow. Okay, which song did you hear first? Protect Your Neck. Protect Your Neck. It Uh It wasn't even a finished song at the time. All the MCs weren't even on the song. Okay. Maybe like four people. And when I heard it, it was like, oh, okay. Okay, so you heard the rough version of Protect Your Neck. Correct. Was was Method Man done yet, the song? I, don't I remember think so. the, the, I don't that, think that so. was the single, right? It was I Protect Your so. Neck with Method Man on the B side. Correct. I don't think so. I don't okay. Think so I think everything was still in you know in the making. You know? oh, okay. So he played you the song and then, you know, the various other Wu Tang people are on it. Mm-hmm. Did you start to then meet the rest of the crew? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because at that point, I started to travel with him more to the studio and to Staten Island, you know. And uh, I started to witness what he had been speaking about prior. Okay, but you just his man at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're not, you're not Master Killer the rapper. You no, just, oh, that's just his man. Exactly. Who, who's with him? You know, when we see him. Okay. Exactly. I'm Jamel Arif. Okay, <laughs> and that name is—is is that your actual name? Or that's no? a name that I chose for myself. Okay. Yes. But this was before Master Killer. Correct. And before noodles. Correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're just this man, they're putting together this shit. At what point are you like, yeah, I kinda wanna start rapping and get involved in this in this little movement they got going on? Once I heard Protect Your Neck, it just, you know, and be with him every day, it just inspired me to just, you know, sit down and maybe let me see if I can write something. Because it was, I mean, hip hop, everything was just like on the rise. You know, mm-hmm. like you spoke about J. Rue, the damager. You know, they had their movement. You know, they're moving with Gangstar. Yeah, of course. So him and our food, you know, these are brothers from my neighborhood. You know, they was on their movement. And everybody's into hip hop. You know, either they're writing rhymes, they're making beats. You know, True Master is also a brother from my neighborhood. Yeah. So he did it writing rhymes and making beats. So, you know, I hear Protect Your Neck and I'm like, wow, maybe if I sit down, let me see if I sit down and just apply myself to everything that's moving around me, basically. Let me see what I come up with. Okay. <laughs> and that ended up being Mystery of Chess Boxing. Correct. That was the only song you were on on 36 Chambers. That's the only rhyme I had. <laughs> In life. In life. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Okay, so, so so they're working on this project, mm. and then they signed to Loud Records. Correct. So were you there when uh, Wu Tang auditioned for uh, for Loud Records? More likely, because I, you know I was there for everything. Okay. You know I just wasn't in the forefront because this is all a learning experience for me. I kind of walked into something that happened to become worldwide. Okay, now when you guys are, are putting together that first album, mm. you guys are all broke. Definitely. <laughs> I guess you guys would, would shoplift, like, cans of food just to <laughs> get by? I mean, you know, times were rough. Times, yeah. times were rough, you know? I don't, you know, in a Rolling Stone article, it said that to record Protect Your Neck, mm. it cost $300 and they paid in mostly quarters. Wow. See, I, 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 don't, I don't know to the in-depths of it like that, you know. But it was a rough time. Times were rough. Times were rough. Okay. Yes. And you guys get the deal from, from Loud, but it's not some huge multi-million dollar deal. It's no. a deal that, that allows you guys to work on, on the project. Correct. So were you signed to Loud at all or no? No, not at that time, no. Was it RZA directly? Um, I don't even really know the inner workings of... Because like I said, I'm, you know, I'm rolling with Jizza at this time. You know, everything is new and fresh to me. I'm just humbly, you know, with my brother yeah. and assisting and, you know, whatever is needed to get us moving forward, you know. Okay. You know, so all the ins and outs of 
the contracts and the inner works. So you're not involved. In I, that. I don't have any idea. Okay, so you were never signed directly to Loud yourself. No. no. Okay, but you were part of Wu Tang, of course. When Correct. Wu Tang was signed. Right. So you guys get the deal. Did things change after the the Loud deal came together? I mean, um, definitely because we started becoming, you know. Uh, worldwide, you know, we started traveling and well, no, no, no. I meant, I meant before the album dropped. Like after, after you guys signed, okay, and you guys got some money to finish the album. Like, do you remember that whole pro process? But nothing really changed because everything is still new and fresh, okay. and 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 uh, you're still like going up. You know what I mean? Everything yeah. is still on the climb. You know what I mean? Okay. 